Laura's Food and Kitchens. I think I'm live. What I have for you today is such a seasonal treat. I'm Flora, if you haven't joined me before, from Flora's Food and Kitchen. And I have been doing a series of seasonal lives. And I have here some gorgeous strawberries from farm shop, um, locally, Thorns Farm Shop, actually. And I got these in Bampton Fresh um, this morning. And they smell amazing. So I thought I would do a really quick and simple pudding with them, an idea for you all. Um, here I've got something really easy actually I'm going to show you. Here I have got a meringue nest, which you could just buy in the supermarket, anywhere you like. Um, they're really, really easy. I mean, I make tons of meringues, but this one I just um, had in the cupboard here today so I'm just using it to show you what you can do. So I've got my lovely fresh strawberries and I've got a meringue nest and I've got also another incredible local ingredient. I've got here Langage Farm Clotted Cream which is such a treat and anyone coming to the West Country needs to try this. It's so good. So I'm gonna get going and I'm going to make a pudding for you. Something really simple you can do after work and use these gorgeous strawberries. So I'm going to take two strawberries here and I'm going to hull them. I find it really hard to pull the hulls out. Don't seem to be able to do it. So I am going to just cut round and take that little stalk hull out of the strawberry and pull it out hopefully. Um, like that. There we go. And I've got another one and I'm going to do the same with this one. Just pop my knife around the edge and pull, pull it out. And I'm going to slice them into slices. There we go. So I've got really lovely slices of fresh strawberries and they smell divine, they're so good. <laughs> and um, okay, and then I'm going to slice them again. And I've got two lovely slices here of strawberries. Uh, and those will go on top of, hello, I can see someone now, hello, hello. Um, these will go on top of my meringue nest. I'm going to take another couple of strawberries, these lovely strawberries, and I am going to cut them into little chunks because we're going to make a little sort of strawberry sauce coulis to have with our meringue nest. This is all so simple, it takes minutes. So here we go, I'm going to chop these up into just rough shapes, just like that, little rough pieces, and I'm going to pop them into my pan here little two strawberries so I've sliced two strawberries and I've got another two strawberries this is an individual portion I pop them into my lovely pan here and I'm going to take just a sprinkling of sugar and I'm gonna pop that onto my strawberries just like that not even a quarter teaspoon that I've popped onto the strawberries. And that will actually bring out, the, I'm gonna heat this for two minutes as well, and that'll bring out the flavor. It's called macerating the strawberries. And that'll bring out the lovely flavor and smell of the strawberries. So, and then I'm going to also add the tiniest, tiniest touch of, I've got some lovely balsamic vinegar here. I'm just gonna add the tiniest touch of that to the pan. There we go. And I pop that away. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put this on the heat for, I did it earlier. I've got one I prepared earlier, a bit of a blue Peter moment, um, but literally 40 seconds. And it just heated it and softened the strawberries. So I'm going to do that. But what I've done so that you can watch a bit, bit quicker today, I've already done that. So what I've done is I pop those on, as I said, for 30 seconds and you can see that they're soft and they smell is so good, it's delicious. And I'm going to crush them, literally, in the pan, hopefully you can see, with the back of my fork here. I mean, if you want a really lovely, smooth, coolie type sauce, you can 
you can put it through a blender, but we're only doing enough for one here. I'm just going to crush these strawberries with the back of my fork. There we go. Oh, this smells divine. And I tell you what I'm going to add. I'm going to add, I don't know if anybody has been out to have a look in the hedgerows recently, but elderflower is just coming out. I always think it's the first week of June, and this year it's bang on the first week of June. I haven't picked any and I haven't made any lovely elderflower cordial. Maybe that should be the next slide. Show you how to make, I have a really old recipe for elderflower cordial and it is the best. So anyway, what I've done is I am going to just pop a few of the little flowers, the tiny little white flowers into my strawberry sauce to just give a lovely hint of elderflower. So seasonal this time of year. And I'm also going to add a few mint leaves. I'm going to just take off this. I've got this mint growing in the garden and maybe you've got it in a pot outside. Um, it's, it's really, it smells really lovely at this time of year. I'm just going to roughly chop that and add it to my strawberry sauce. And pop that in there into the pan. There we go. And I'm going to crush that together can hear me crunching in this pan um, and then that will be ready to put around my strawberry nest right so here we go this is what we're going to do we're going to add I'll show you I've got my meringue nest here and I'm going to add clotted cream now you can add anything you can add to put something a bit lighter not quite so calorific um, you could add um, creme fraiche mixed with yogurt that's another option but because I've got this lovely clotted cream look at that oh incredible Langage Farm really do the best clotted cream give them a shout out I'm just gonna pop a spoonful on top of my nest just like that I'm gonna hold it up so you can see might be a bit more generous with the clotted cream <laughs> oh there we go look oh delicious okay so now I'm going to take the strawberries that I prepared earlier and just lay them on top. There we go. You know, it, it's such a joy to get these seasonal um, strawberries. You can pick them at the moment as well. Um, I haven't been there long to pick them yet, but I'm planning to go to Halberton Farm Shop to do some. But I'm going to just show you that I'm going to pop that down there. And I'm going to take this little sauce that we have made um, with strawberries, some crushed strawberries, balsamic vinegar, and a tipsy bit of sugar. and. I added a little bit of elderflower, as you saw. That's not essential, actually. It's just I had it in the garden this morning and I thought, ooh, such a lovely seasonal flavor. Um, but I added the mint because I think it gives it just a little kick and brings out the wonderful flavor of the strawberry. Now look, that is literally as simple as that. And I'm going to pop this mint leaf on top. And that's it. A strawberry clotted cream meringue nest and i hope you will enjoy it it's so simple really easy looks really quite impressive the flavors are delicious so please enjoy it i will put in the bottom of the uh, my gtv notes where i got all these gorgeous seasonal ingredients and um, i look forward to seeing you i'm going to try and do another one next week i'm sorry i haven't been um doing my live last week i was really busy catering at half time which was fantastic to be out there again but i love doing my online work so i'm working on a seasonal course hopefully for um september time um and thank you so much for watching me live just an inspiration using these wonderful seasonal fruit and i'll see you again next week thank you